Hi guys. So today we're gonna talk a little bit about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac. We get a ton of questions about like, who's Fannie Mae or who's Freddie Mac? Um, so when it comes to loans, Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac are two of the biggest government entities that purchase loans on the secondary market. So the details of how Fannie and Freddie work can be kind of complicated as a lot of things can be with the stock market or secondary markets. Um, investments, things like that. But really, for mortgage purposes, Fannie and Freddie write all of our guidelines for conventional mortgages that are sold to Fannie and Freddie. So why does this matter to you? Fannie and Freddie allow for low to moderate income borrowers to purchase a home and provide low down payment options on conventional loan products, which is a really cool feature prior to their establishment in 1938 didn't exist. A lot harder to get a home loan back then and required a lot larger of a down payment. So now we have all these cool options available because Fannie and Freddie exist. Another name you might hear come up is Jenny Mae. So that one is basically Fannie, Freddie, Jenny. Jenny does government loans. Um, so think FHA and VA loans would go to Jenny Mae as opposed to Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. Most importantly, the biggest question I get is, so you're selling my loan to Fannie Mae, does that mean I'll make my payments to Fannie Mae? Largely no. Most of the time there is a servicer involved in between. So you come to me, you get a loan, Cornerstone Home Lending is your servicer, meaning you make your payments to Cornerstone Home Lending. However, we are still selling your loan on the secondary market to either Fannie or Freddie a lot of the time. So just some good information to have that answers all your burning questions about Fannie Mae and Freddie Mac.